Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the decoration attribute in Odoo 70. So as you can see here that I've developed a custom module called company management. So let me go to the backend. That is the pie charm here. So this is my custom module that I've created. That is the company management. So in this video, I will be discussing about the decoration attribute that you give to the tree view of your custom modules. So actually this decoration attribute is used to enhance the user interface and also to easily sort out the records that you have been saving in your uh, custom module. So here I have given the tree view and as you, if I go to the UI here, as you can see that I am going to the UI and you can see all the records that has been saved in the custom module that I've created. So I've created the uh, records here in my custom module and you can see the end and the start date. So I'm using the attribute decoration to sort out the records based on the start and the end dates. So let me go to the XML page that I've created for the view. So as you can see that I've defined the field code, phone, end date and the start date in the tree view. So let me show you how to give the decoration attribute in the tree view of Odoo 17. So as, I, as you can see here that I've just commented this code here. I'll just uncomment this code from here. So I'll just type in control slash. And I'll just come in this from here using control slash. And as you can see here that I've given the attribute decoration danger. And I've also given the condition that is it should be shown as a decoration danger when the start date is equal to the current date. And here I've also given the uh, condition where the start date is less than the current date it should be decoration success and I've also given the decoration muted where the condition is the start date is greater than the current date and going here I was given the decoration warning where the end date should be less than the current date so I've filtered it with the end date and here I've filtered it with the uh, start date and you can also see here that in the decoration info I have given the condition as end date should be equal to the current date so I have given all the conditions and if you just globally search the decoration attribute here in the O217 you can see multiple examples in the add-ons of the O217 and you can easily get uh, basic use uh, of this attribute so you can see multiple uh, examples here if you just search for the uh, attribute decoration for the tree view and after giving the code let me run the server and after running the server as you have made changes in your views you need to just upgrade the module so let me just go to the apps and upgrade the module from here and you can see that I have upgraded the module and let me go to the uh, module that I have created company management and you can see the records have changed its color based on the conditions which we have given in the uh, XML that is the tree view so you can see here that the start date here and the end date that we have given in the records. So based on the conditions you have given the uh, records have been colored as per the conditions that you have given in the XML uh, view of your custom module. So this is how you give the decoration attribute for a tree view in Odoo 17. That's all for today. Thank you.